Well, this has been a very long process for Derry residents. Those who had been fighting felt that public safety had been compromised and felt that more money in their pocket wouldn't make up for that. And the votes have been cast, and you know what happens next is we have an obligation to follow through, and uh, that was a referendum vote, and the voices were heard. Cuts that had impacted police and fire personnel, even shutting down one fire station, have all now been overturned. Be as if nothing ever happened, and that money should go back into the budget. Uh, our tax rate will be set accordingly. Uh, it should be sent to the DRA, and they will uh, they will send out the tax bills. After the controversial budget was passed in May, Derry residents filed petitions asking the council to reverse the cuts or hold a special election. When the council took no action, a judge ordered one to be held yesterday. I can't speak for other councillors, you know, and I can't speak for other citizens who may want to take advantage of this uh, new petition form of government. Uh, but for me, yeah, it's over. Councillor Mark Osborne says he still believes public safety wasn't compromised, but will use the special election results to guide him going forward. They've told us that uh, they're not interested in high tax cuts. They're not really interested at this point in lower spending. 59% of the people voted to overturn the cuts. People lost their jobs, okay? They lost that fire station. It's ridiculous. And I pay too many taxes as it is. So you were disappointed? Uh, yeah, probably enough to leave town. Differences of opinion that caused record setting attendance at the polls. Now, taxes will still be lowered, but not nearly as much as the previous budget had called for. And the town council will meet again on October 20th, possibly to discuss this further. Reporting live in Derry, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9.